All right, you open your maps uh, and look down on the map. Uh, there's a few different markers. First thing to note, uh, that airfield right there is abandoned. Uh, that used to be an Iraqi airfield, but air uh, forced them all to push out. And uh, actually, the start of a massive convoy happened uh, on this major highway right here. Uh, and uh, two A-10 spotted it and started strafing the ever looming shit out of it. So there's a lot of wrecks there. Uh, most of the bodies have been um, taken care of, though. There's still a lot of Iraqis around, kind of scrapping what they can. But uh, we had a survey helicopter fly close by, uh, and it reported getting a uh, strange reading. Uh, we read that reading back, uh, confirmed it twice with a second survey helicopter, and uh, it was of a, an NBC nuclear biological chemical nature. Uh, so we do believe that Saddam might have a dirty bomb. Uh, that dirty bomb we have triangulated to this gas station complex, which uh, since the uh, events of the quote-unquote Highway of Death has been leveled, and uh, it is somewhere in here. Now, uh, survey helicopters tried to get closer to get a proper PID, but there was some threats uh, from a man pad that fired at the helicopter. Thankfully, helicopter was able to uh, pull away, but we haven't been able to get anything uh, close since. So we believe the man pads are concentrated in this area. More than likely, the Iraqis are trying to recover the dirty bomb and pull it out. Uh, so, uh, our AA, or excuse me, our AO is, um, limited to this highway. Uh, there's not a lot of cover outside of the highway. Stick to the wrecks, I would say. Uh, but we can't move you any closer because of that AA threat. So LZ is at LZ Siphon. Um, we have a Blackhawk ready to go. If there's too many of you for a Blackhawk, we also have a Chinook. Uh, but otherwise, your job will be to fight through, uh, Iraqi recovery teams and possibly Iraqi, uh, NBC teams um, assess if there is a dirty bomb there or not, because it could be a false positive. To do that, if you have a metal detector, we have modified them. If you turn them on, we've put some chemical markers in this, uh, pack of water bottles here for reference. And you'll, uh, you know, get the noise going in. So use this to scan the various containers. Uh, containers can be any size and shape, usually around this, uh, box size, uh, based off of what our intel reports say, but... Which specific box it'll be, we don't know. Will it be one or many? We don't know. So you guys are going to have to, you know, scan everything you can. But once you find it, maybe give it some distance because we don't know how effective your NBC gear will actually be. So, you know, don't camp right next to it once you actually find it because there might be some repercussions. Anyway, um, also, uh, if you're able to take care of the air support... Uh, excuse me, the uh, man pads and whatever AA they have in that sector, we can send in backup. The backup is in the form of two Blackhawks with Bravo and Charlie teams, as well as an Apache attack helicopter to cover you, uh, because the Iraqis will probably also send in their own support to try to secure the dirty bomb once they know of us trying to get in and take it. Any questions? Chinook. Or was it Chinook? Actual question, um, uh, you gave a stinger, so are we possibly expecting Iraqi air to... Be yeah, they, they do have air assets, uh, MI-24s and MI-8s mainly, so keep that in mind. Uh, for the sake of meta, uh, it would be better if you fly in with the Blackhawk because it's a little less, um, bumpy in its AI riding. Uh, however, if we need to, we can do the Chinook and it'll just land besides the a, uh, LZ instead of on it. Have at the LC or no? Negative. Uh, this is still deep in Iraqi territory on the front line. Um, even getting this uh, fob here took a bit of effort. Uh, you are on foot and on your own. Also, there is no resupply, so use what you can. I'm ready to step. Yeah, it's the middle one. I'm ready. Barbarian. I love some of these. Do you have anybody in your squad who's acting as permanent AT, or are you guys acting as permanent AA? Uh, uh I, got, I have... got a stinger with two missiles in my backpack. Cuss, what's up, Regan? And then I'm gonna have uh, one of my guys kit straight for uh, AT. Just pack a bunch of logs. So I told I told my other group this, make sure you have at least three or four sticks of AT for this one. If not, make sure you're picking up enemy RPGs. Okay, that'll be fine. I with the also pro Probably gonna be also shit that we can break with the uh, 50 cows. Oh, okay. 
what I would recommend because it's a two lane highway and golf is gonna keep all plus two one team one side I guess. And yeah. no, I was thinking the same thing as well. Mm hmm um, that yeah. way we're not too far spread apart from each other. I mean, that eight. isn't very far apart at all, and we can push up, and depending on the circumstance, we can send AT over to one way or A so, the other. Fun fact, I'm I mean, in area. order to make that, there's actually an invisible yeah, simulation yeah. disabled tough I, uh, UXO in that water bottle package. But I set it to invisible so they can't actually see it. Yeah, that's fine. So if I were to type add objects to Zeus... Can we get the power point? No. Oh, we might not actually have it pop up because it does have a simulation disabled. You're way off. Okay. Yeah, so I can't actually no because uh, UXOs don't actually appear on the Zeus interface, so it's going to stay invisible. But that's how the metal detector goes off on it, and it's a tough uh, UXO. So it's not going to blow up unless like a tank runs it over. This box. The box is um, actually smaller than the original PLP fuel crate I had, so there are, the markers are actually like just outside the edges. But there are three UXOs, uh, one here, one here, one here, three UXOs here on the sides, and basically layered around. This is about as close as we get to dedicated AC. The dragon's trash. This slap and bounce is just wearing a backpack. As I was trying to say, drop traces to fuck anyone. I'll be fucking heavy, but I can take one. I said, I, I should be relatively Everybody, everybody on. take a stick with you. Hey, and Outcast, if you've got is, room, stick one in your backpack as well. Outcast, do you have, uh, are, is this slot on 60 or what's your answer? We're, we're on 60. We're oh trying to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, we're on 70 and I'll be on 50. Yeah. Any station on the snap, Blackhawk you're taking is on the northern side. We do have a second Blackhawk here for Charlie and Bravo when they come in. Break. Uh, I just did a number count. You guys are all capable of fitting in a Blackhawk break. Again, your Blackhawk is on the northern side. That's the one Blackhawk where there's actually pilots in it. Four heads. Go there. Take top. Radio check, check. Can, can you not? Can you please go into the slot you're supposed to? Okay. Just a reminder. Uh, okay, well, I guess the co-pilot's glitched out because he took the spot. Thanks. Um, if you do that to the pilot while he's flying, you're probably going to glitch out the flight path and he might crash you in the ground, in which case it's a mission fail. So, GG. Yep, I'll tell my people not to do that. Let me know when you want me to take off. Okay, up here we are ready to go. That's a fucking negative, Chief. Oh, well... Now we're ready. Teenage dirtbags are ready for takeoff. Ozone is clear for dust off. Copy that. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be on five zero if you need anything out. <sighs> sure, Malin, I'll take a look at it. Hey, we were fair warning. Seems like there's some armor fuckery around. Let's sweep through it. Seats changing in. Um without people telling you to, so just FYI, but we'll try not to do anything. Well, I deleted the co-pilot because someone took his spot and he got out and was freaking out, so hopefully you won't take the pilot slot mid-flay, otherwise it's going to be really awkward. Yeah, right? I'm with you on that. Because if you take the pilot slot, he's not going to fly it back. All right, Outcast, uh, you want to take the northeast side of the highway? My team will take the southeast side. Yeah, I am all fine with that.
You can see that smoke on the horizon. Shut up, Siri. So I like to fly them in manually because the AI does a really wide arc and it looked really awkward when I had to do it uh, down with the 506. So instead, Now if I just get out of him because markers, he should, uh... So these guys firing out that chopper. And anything I called hold fire yeah, on. I didn't finish this group's garrison, that's okay. <clears throat> now I'm just telling everything that's over here they can go on uh, fire at will. So yeah, we get a shift from regular dudes to NBC dudes as we get close to that. And I got an NBC guy up here to kind of foreshadow the uh, gear of uh, the uh, enemy NBC guys. But yep, yeah, I copy and paste this squad because these are going to be my mobile squads. I can go ahead and delete that Blackhawk. And now the copy paste comes up. So we're gonna do global skill here. Put this down. Set it to 90, 35, 50, 50, which is my personal classic. Hey, Bravo, this is Alpha. I'm gonna teleport myself up just to listen to them, right but now. I am invisible. Yeah, I told my guys just to slow it down a little bit. They were trying to speed run this shit, and I told them to slow down. And now, as they get there, I'm going to prep my. Contact south on the run our highway. I don't know if it's on, I don't think it's on our side, because we didn't take the shot. It was on our side. And we can hear their local yeah, I got eyes on boots, I got eyes on boots below the truck. We are engaging a couple on our side, though. Big copy. Yeah, we got, I got eyes on contacts through the trucks up ahead by the first most stack. This is to represent Bravo and Charlie coming in. Let's fix that shopper. Kind of awkward how you're leaning, my guy. And then set these to careless hold fire. Until I need to call them in. Chinook, I can go ahead and delete. Because one of those Blackhawks is going to pick them all up as they go up. Otherwise, shots have begun. These guys have uh, breached in. They are engaging the first little licks here. Last thing I'll do before we now exclusively focus on the action is uh, just to co grab that copy-paste squad. And I'm going to be spawning in quite Alpha, we're taking contact. We've got some casualties. Not casualties, but we're in Sorry, say again. It's a little over here. Send your radio off. We're getting shot, and we have some injuries. We're taking care of them. 
both cops were pushing up the truck for almost there. Nim might have been crippled. Uh, you still can't push up the trucks because you're taking care of injuries. We can loop around to your side and clear the rest of the truck. So Bad Wolf went down, probably yeah, flanked by this guy on the right. Yeah, I put guys in some pretty cheeky spots here. All right, so we see uh, M240 Bravo, M9 with M82 Beretta. Uh, that's an M16A2 G, um, GL. That's the uh, XM8 Carbine thingy, predecessor to the M3. You've got uh, M24, curious with that. That's the, uh, there's more guys that got moved up. You got another M16A2 uh, GL, a third M16A2 GL, another carbine. Uh, another carbine, yeah, these guys really like their carbines. Um, M60E4, another uh, M uh, M240 Bravo. And I think we already got Havoc Dan's uh, 50. So, uh, anti-material M82, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, um, that's a big mix. And, oh, wait, no, we also have Zope with, um, I think that's... Yeah, I went down. Oh, that's, um, that's an M240. That, actually, that, no, no, that's a 249. I don't know, they look so similar to me. Um, the 240 is usually bigger. Yeah, so that's a 240. So yeah, no, that means Zope has the uh, the 249. It confused me for a second. Yep, trooper. How you doing? Bravo, this is Alpha. Now we have uh, Nim getting saved by a guy on the right. But Trooper, no offense, this type of mission I'm going to definitely run for different communities because I poured eight hours into this for the 506 and I poured an additional hour to transfer everything from 506 to TSP. But my T3 said they wanted to run it, so we run it. I am Trooper. Hope you are too. Hope you're staying safe from uncovered uh, stuff. So as they walk by, we'll be uh, deleting these smoke billows. I want to make sure it's not the grass cutter there, but the uh... God damn it, it is the grass cutter. The grass cutter was the smoke, and I'm like, oh okay, because I use grass cutters all the time. But no, that was just a menu for that. So that's okay. They're far behind it. They're not gonna notice that that MIG wreck got deleted. I call it COVID. I know it's COVID with the you know the O sound, but I like COVID as in covenant. I, I like to think it's all just some conspiracy in the covenant are here, you know. <laughs> oh, they do have AT uh, in the form of sticks. I told them, you know. As I told the 506, bring a few sticks for this one because they're gonna need it. Otherwise, look for uh, RPGs. So we're gonna teleport up. Listen to them uh, run up here. Bravo's all, or Alpha's all back in our lane. We're pushing up. Good copy. We're pushing up. Uh, parallel to you. Stop copy. I see you off my right side. And I'll start deleting bodies behind them, making sure I don't delete the uh, vehicles. Hey, I got reports at the end at the next lane. Yeah, the six are clipping in and stuff. Well. And they have one guy uh, that brought that guy in. Yeah, copy. I'm getting reports from my squad. We got a contact inside the guardrails. Halo Reach PTSD intensifies here, right? We got trenches with enemies in them. They're calling the... Trenches? I'm getting reports of trenches. It's not a trench, it's just the skid mark of the uh, MI, or the MIG, excuse me. Ah, I was just about to get a grenade thrown. Uh, Barbarian, thanks for the 35-month resub. Uh, while we were doing the op, I kept um, calling you Barbarian on accent. The real Barbarian was reading at me, so it was funny. But thanks again, my man. I hope you are staying safe, uh, and I hope you are enjoying this operation. I just shot him in the RPG right there, so it negated the damage. I can't hit them. They're, they're, their guns are too thick. It's uh, stopping my hitbox here. 
But yeah, thanks again, Barbarian. There I go. So oh, Yanni, I hit him a few times. So I've got the uh, the BMP. I um, I did a tactic. I think I put it a little further up on the left last time, but I moved it down here. Also, it's to pretend to be a wreck. Their airplane crater crashes. Thank you for correcting that. <laughs> makeshift hey, uh, trenches. Ah, oh, I love these dinguses. Uh, the right side. Making good time. Yeah, the plane wreck is where it originated, though. Roger that. Understood. And then, Trooper, I'm not sure if you're still here, but I um, I had to replace all the PLP containers, so I got some vanilla boxes. Same area, though. And then, uh, instead of uh, the smooth, uh, poop Sam thing, I instead have an MI-26. There is another quote-unquote French line over there. All right, let's whiff some RPGs. Right in my face! That was an insta drop. Heads up, Alpha just took an RPG. Uh, we're medicating ourselves up. Uh, nobody went down. Look at look at Havoc here trying to be a Chad, get the bipod on. He just got shot in the face though. Ooh, he's throwing some cuss words. I hit one of them in the face. Yeah, he got down on me and I fell forward. Ooh, I got hit in the balls then or something. Owie. Oop. That was a grenade going off by me. A uh, little darkness effect. That or they shot at me. That wreck is not a wreck. It's on your highway. Dismount, dismount, dismount. Alright, it's dismounted. You got some guys down though, I saw them drop. Okay. So I know TSB, they do have a higher armor coefficient than the 506, but they bleed out a lot quicker. Yeah, heads up, I got a bunch of guys who are medicating right now from that BMP-1. Uh, we're holding I love the creative use of the Rex, uh, just because you know they can climb up on it, bipod on them, all this fun stuff, and it yeah, makes a nice copy. little. Uh, We're gonna try and uh, get a bit of a, a bit of action. Uh, for you. Solid copy. Clear the back blast. I mean, don't get behind me, forehead. Just to pop it up by that smoke. Um, yeah, so that was a major miss because they threw it way up there, but that's fine. Actually, I think that was my, um, yeah, might have been friendly smoke. This guy just pulls out his secondary and starts shooting. Oh, what a chat. And, I got a couple and then with of, this, you can uh, actually, like, open and, and close the doors on this wreck, which I think is really cool. <laughs> so, yeah, some of these wrecks are actually pretty interactive. Because uh, this is a vanilla one, I know you can open the back and that side door. Uh, that's from the Livonia DLC. I didn't wipe the cargo of this, so those AKs are a little on the futuristic side. Because I know for a fact they will uh, go in and uh, loot them. OG would be nice, though, on that stolen RPG. What inspired this map? Um, originally, so I, I ran a poll uh, like a month ago, a month and a half ago. And Trooper can attest to us because he was uh, part of that poll. Uh, for some of the um, top brass 506 guys, hey, and I was like, all right, Alpha, we're, uh, uh, we're going to do some Gulf War thing. stuff. Hey, Robert, what type of missions in the Gulf War do so you want to do? The and their top three picks was a standard airbase raid, uh, the Highway of Death, and a mission around it with like NBC stuff and whatnot. Oh, no. 
and uh, an armor only op, which might now get vetoed uh, by uh, Drum. So I gotta think of something else to do in two weeks. But um, it was just, you know, me doing my background research for ops and thinking, you know, this would this would be a cool concept because I can't recall anyone else in Arma that has done something like this before. So I'm like, you know, I'm Liru the mother effing Lance Corporal. <laughs> I can I can make it. It'll be fun. So I've been uh, listening to the left side. Let's now listen to the right side. Yeah, it's the little and I literally like would have a template of um, like all the 14 or 15 wrecks I could use because this is all like literally 14 or 15 wrecks just kind of tossed around and stuff uh, at various angles and whatnot. But like you know, this is where a BMP column got wiped by the A10s that you know actually made the highway of death. This is where some 113s were shot out. I got some spots where they kind of like you know come out of the uh, highway and try to escape. And obviously the ones that aren't wrecked were the ones that were able to do escape and just you know really kind of hammered this down. But um, I literally just went up this road and everything here is custom. They're, the only copy paste is a little bit in the beginning here. Uh, we know already. Yeah, we were facing right through them, so I don't know. Yeah, so they figured out they can actually climb in the 113 here and um, use out of that. I actually didn't know that. But yeah, no, they're climbing on top of it, not into it, on top of itself. So he, has, he is now the 113. <laughs> You know, just customizing as uh, things went. I listened to a bunch of lo-fi uh, in the middle of two nights as I uh, made these, and I just just had fun with it. Cause Zeusine, at the end of the day, I do it to have fun. So I'm gonna put one more squad, and I'm definitely throwing a lot more AI at them compared to the 506. But that's because there's more of them here. And the medical settings are a bit different. Uh, okay, so Just um, go Google Highway of Death. Um, how was our performance last off? It was good. Far, it was definitely one of the better ops. That's good to say. But we're hearing both these fire teams uh, teams coordinating, and um, you know if anything really screws their pooch, they can always do bounding by fire orders, and we'll see what happens when they get up to that tank. Uh, yeah, copy that. Uh, we already passed the butterfly freeway, so I think the next thing we gotta do is get it. Oh, also, uh, I'm gonna get to the yeah, break, 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 Bravo, ahead of you by about 200 meters, we got right. a guy on your side. So I'm, uh, I'm mowing down a few of the guys on point here, because I'm, I wanna slow their roll. Just to remind them that I can, I, this isn't all fun and games, I can still do some hard, so if they're going too fast, I can counter it. Take a page out of their book. Yeah, they should be able to save Bad Wolf and Nim. But, you know, when they're going super fast like that, I'm going to slow them down a little bit. Just to remind them that I got uh, I got a few tricks. So left flank now going up pretty fast. But you know you can't play this fast and loose because it just takes one guy at an angle with an MG to screw your day up. 
Uh, Jackal, we use the um, we use the updated A's. We don't we haven't backtracked. Because in all honesty, it's not that bad. Oh look, Zo popped in. <laughs> I was gonna get on top of him and mag dump him from the top, but he um he went out the back. Oh wait, I think the back hatches are opened. Yep, so they can actually go in, and that's Love cool. It We've, uh, it's really cool. Guys, uh, we're, uh, gonna Make a pseudo uh, CCP. So I got Nimia up, and they're working on Bad Wolf. They're just getting his heart rate back with CPR. But um. Honestly, Ace updated medical. Uh, now that we're over the part where a lot of mods have updated, I know IFA, uh, even though they just had an IP issue because one of their devs brought in a bunch of Red Orchestra models, um, a lot of the skins that were invincible and stuff are now fixed. So that's why we actually have a bunch of World War One. I've uh, rediscovered my love for you know uh, World War Two IFA stuff and whatnot. Um, is because all this stuff has been updated, so it's now completely doable. Now look at this. That is a tactic you won't find anywhere else. I mean, that's not going to last when the tank shoot uh, finally gets into firing range, but that's a cool tactic. I'm not doing goats for this. The goats were all killed by the A-10s. I'm sorry. So they just used that Vic to push up another 20, 30 meters, but... Copy. Uh, we're just here it's good. We're at the big wall of TSB uh, does go back to that tactic every once in a while. I'm going to give him some uh, feedback for that. Copy. I got eyes on you. Ooh, I hit that guy in the leg. About 1,600 rounds. The wind just changed on me. It was going left, now it's going a little right. Um, we're taking fire from, from the guys up on your side. I realize we're slightly ahead of you, but they're about 200 meters down the freeway from your position. Good copy. We're setting up our bounding by fire. My spread on this is ridiculous. I got reports that we've reduced the squad by about half. You talking about the enemy squad yet? Yeah, enemy squad. Good copy. Oh, that was right in his face. What is the spread on this? Plot armor, yeah, right? Real quick. Yeah, so... Wind's blowing two to the left. That hit his... That hit his, uh, frickin... AT rifle. Oh, the spread on this is ridiculous. Jesus. I should have changed these to uh, Dragonovs with the TSB mod set because we actually have some uh, antiques with uh, TSB assets. Yeah, I'm hitting the wreck behind him or I'm hitting his uh, AT rifle, which is causing that white smoke to come up. That's the guardrail. Yeah, so he's smart enough to know he's taking shots, so he'll back off. But I'm going to be out of rifle at this point, uh, out of ammo at this point. Hey, 
Hey, uh, Bravo, if you're able to push up and then anchor yourselves, uh... Hit the damn AT rifle again! Hey, Farm, we're still dealing with some of the contacts out our right side. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> so, fun fact why AT is actually, like, really, really OP. So, left flank actually pushed up and got hit by a few guys here. But, um, AT rifles are OP because that is basically a hitbox that was blocking my shots. So, essentially, it just, you know, gives them an actual little bit of plot armor because that's just how armor works. Is it silly? Yes. Bravo, I'm tossing a white smoke over onto your side to cover you guys. Yeah, he just woke hey, up, got shot again. Down. We're working on the other. Because so this cheeky guy. We have some people, uh, AI is keyholing. He's going to need some uh, flanking fire. Mm -hmm. AI yeah, will keyhole. We can put some uh, pressure on it. So I didn't know about this spot Bravo. when I had the 506 play, but I, when I looked over everything again, I learned about it. Also, I don't think they realize they've got a guy right here shooting them. Pushing us right now on our side. So Bad Wolf's pushing this target. Manages to drop him. But we still have this guy. Yanni doesn't realize he's being shot at from the flank. Reloading. Barbarian noticed him. He's firing at him. And manages to drop him. Yeah, so this guy's freaking out of ammo. Oh, he's healing. Okay, I was about to push him back. But he's on defend only because he's out of ammo. So I'm going to have him pull back. And I'm gonna prep a wave of. Bravo, uh, this is Alpha. We're pushing slightly ahead of you. You got guys like your front right as these well. We're putting some fire down on it. It's kind of patrol. Uh, Bravo to Alpha. We have one. We have a serious CSW. Uh, we're uh, we got three men Thanks, working Mal. on uh, the wound or uh, quick casualty right now. We're gonna be a minute. Soft copy. Also, by the way, these are one Heads life. Up. Wrong net, sir. No, I don't want to toggle your unconscious. I want to toggle your garrison. There you go. Now the real fun begins. With instructions, nice. Bravo to Alpha, you have contact on your right to get you from the other side. Oh, dude, don't get in front of the tank. I'm going to overpressure you. I'm going to lock down that little keyhole right there. So yeah, this is something you can assault from the side. It intentionally leaves this opening on the left flank for me to mow anyone down. The right flank has to secure it. 506 was able to figure this out. Though it was on accident, because they didn't know where the tank was, and they stumbled on it. Well, let's see if TSP can do the same. Because I got nothing really to... He just climbed down. He missed that shot. Playing footsie. need to move. Okay. He decided instead to go prone and shoot, so. Got 
Come on, guys. Uh, another dude just ran in front of me. They need to either get a smoke grenade up in front of me, or they need to go around that flank. How's life, Leo? Life is good, Connor. Thanks for the six-month resub. I hope you're doing okay. Hope get a kick out of this. Go. Uh, I thought you were sending traffic to us. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we got two down. Working on them. Uh, possible KIA's on, on a couple of them. Yeah, see, my gun can't even fire at that angle because the bullets just ricochet off the armor. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, Mal. I'm going to let him medic, but now they're starting to smoke me. Damn, watching them on the left and right flank here. I'm going to camp this tank. This is one of my favorite parts about this, though, is I made something where they actually, you know, if they steamroll everything, they still got to use tactics to fix it. That probably makes it look like the cannons going through the wreck. Bro, I will lower this gun. I'm being really nice to you guys. I'd be doing the same thing in the 506, but you try to take a shot on me, you're getting a face full of AP. There we go. around you scavenge 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 took them their sweet time right oh <laughs> cook up one of the beat uh i think there might be another we're looking into it that was funny See, if they go prone, or crouch, excuse me, then they stop because uh, bullets go into the wreck. Part of why I love the AI here. As Arias still getting medical. Popped a frag over his position. Be advised, Alpha's gonna hold by this main battle tank. We're waiting on you guys. So they got the BTR up there. They got to use the Rex on the left side to maneuver up to it. Smoke if they can. They just got him. Still trying to save Azariah back here. Uh, we use VCOM. I uh, modified some of my settings. Um, it was really fun in the last stop because they were actually like taking some of the VIX left and uh, using them to RTB, uh, especially uh, their own faction's logistics fix and drove it back into the AO like a dumb dumb, but still need some teething. 
But uh, if TSB ever gets bored of VCOM, we'll probably move to Lambs, because Lambs is pretty nice. Just uh, the one custom thing you gotta do to make sure AI stays in the garrison is a little tedious, but that's fine. Uh, Jay, it's not the Great Player Base Massacre. Uh, no one's died the yet. We're making our way up the it's all good. Well. No, no Back and Black's still working on AS. Sub copy, we've spread out along the entirety of the freeway. We're putting down the fire as much as we can. There's some sort of NTSV or dish gum up ahead. And they got a good long range okay. AT shot on it. Nice. Uh, there's, a, there's a BTR. There's a BTR 70 in the gas station area. That should cook BTR. off. Yeah, I still have that Shilka. Uh, we just, we just took care of it. On the way. Roger that. Roger. Bring that reinforcement in. Oh yeah, VCOM loves to deploy random mines. I have that disabled, because that's, like, putting a random mine down is kind of, eh. Yeah, it's hard. I've I've used ASR AI three. I've used VCOM. I've used Lambs. Lambs is really good, but uh, VCOM is really good. ASR AI, all really good, but they all have their own little uh, nitpicks. Now that they got the long range AT shot on that, they're able to uh, come a bit closer. All right, Azariah finally brought back up thanks to Back and Black. Solid copy. We have eyes on a Z, uh, ZSU up ahead. Back, back, back. The second, ZSU. They spot the ZSU, so, so I don't have to pull uh, it out. All right. ZSU is, and if it's okay. not, then I'm gonna go yell at them. Copy. So I did say in the brief they were engaged by man pads though, so I'm curious to see if they uh, they kill one they kill both the stinger guys. All right. Bravo, this is Alpha. Be advised, I have eyes on a box just off your right side inside the gas station area. That might be the container we need to be looking for. Hey, okay, sir, be advised, we took the little side road off the highway. We are uh, off the right side of the highway at this time. Do your squad have any uh, quote unquote right, mind Just detector? to take us out of here real uh, quick. I am the only one carrying a mind detector. We got two in our squad. Both uh, yeah, two as ours, and the as one. We have a guy with eyes on the box. So this time around, I'm not going to have the MI24 land since they have a stinger. Alpha, you doing all right? I'm not hearing much from you. Yeah, we're currently crossing the road right now over to your side. There's a ZU firing. Too far on the right, Tempestal goes down. Overextended. Didn't hear that call out about the ZU. That's unfortunate. And he got snipped. Uh, Derby, hey, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I, uh, I have Blood Wayne, um, and we've been together for six plus years, and she's probably going to be the one I marry. Yeah, I am looking into... I wish we could find uh, someone else, though. Right now. So I'm going to say it's, uh, 110. I'll send in that QRF, because by then, um, you know, another minute, most of these guys will be, uh, down. Ooh, that guy's got blown up. You know, if they have an unconfirmed WMD, maybe spamming explosives isn't the best idea. Hey, ZSU is pushing you, Alpha. It is confirmed a ZSU. Pull it out as I did in the 506 stop. 
Oh, she's garrison. That's why she's not moving. Now she'll move if she wants to. And she went the other way. Whoa! That was a good snipe on it. Not bad. All right, ten ten. This is teenage back to high. This is high. Send message. Uh, we've taken out one time Shilka. Unsure of any other man pads in the area, but we have at least some security, uh, some effect on the AA net. Roger. Let me know when it's clear, and I will send in the backup. Over. Roger. Solid copy. Alpha. Uh, can you and have your team scan the area for other Shilka's man pads? Anything in AA? We need to make sure it's clear so we can call in backup ASAP. As the right ain't get close enough to that thing. Yeah, but I got a couple guys who are wounded. We are working on getting the function that we can do with uh, scan as a general area. Oh, as the right got hit uh, Stop, by cook off. Uh, good thanks to high. Uh, and we have good uh, confirmation on one more, uh, or sorry, one of the, uh, fucking NBC just make our detective show off. Last call sign, can you take a breath and repeat that over? I might say say again, but. Yeah. Bravo has confirmed the presence of one box that is making our NBC detectors go crazy. Roger, one times WMD, A firm. Uh, that's good confirmation on that break. Let me know when AA is secure so I can send Bravo, Charlie, and the Apache. Over. So they scanned that and got it. Oh, they missed the rocket. Yanni missed. <laughs> that means he didn't guide it then. Bad luck. Oh, never mind. MI8 is well off to the west. MI8 coming in and another MI24 coming in from the west. Hey, yeah, set the carols on fire. That one's a good hit. One missed all the way to the MI24 east. That MI8 is going down. Landing. All right, I'm gonna add a little chapter here, just cause I'm a dick. Admittedly, didn't do this in the 506 one, but I want to um, put some pressure up because this is the part where you know 506 called in backup. No one's far enough to uh, see those. But easily destroyable by the Apache when it comes in. Any other ops for me today? No. I'm going to do some dev stuff later on, but I'm probably not going to stream it. Robert Alpha, we have uh, confirmed infantry saying. Or break, in break, break. Two times tanks coming in from the south. Tanks coming in south, two times. Good copy. Um, we also have a copy on uh, infantry based man. This is clear, well guys, please. Code. So keep an eye out on infantry as well. Solid copy, we're still looking. Guys, come on. It's clear. AA's down. I told you the AA was in there. You killed the man, pad guys. You killed the Shilka. Gotta call me in. So two, uh, two times T-72s. Direct south. Direct south in the open amongst the rocks. Giant T-72s direct south. I'm not trying to trick you guys. Come on. Please call me in.
guys on any additional AA, we're going to go ahead and call in some kind of reinforcements because we have two T-72s bearing down on our position. Hi, to give you more direction on that, send the Apaches to go to take out two times T-72s up to the south of the gas station. This is high acknowledging your last sending in Bravo Charlie and the Apache ETA two mics over. Good copy on that. Hey, we got some weird crates here. Who's got the detector? Yeah, Which one? The west or the east? Red box, blue. Red box, blue top. Red box, blue top. Cog way over, range 200 meters, tops, left side. On range 200 meters, ready? Hey, firm. It's, uh, west. West. Roger that. Uh, Swing and a miss, Charlie Brown. Wow! All right. So we're working on taking out the other one. Are you guys retarded? No, they don't. Fucking you, fucking you. Hold perimeter, wait for our reinforcements. Yeah, you can just thank Skelly for the last one. Yeah, you can thank me for the first. Hi, you're gonna to want to send in that Apache before that Blackhawk lands. We got a P1 coming in. Apache is on it. Stand by. BMP down. Brown, this is high interrogative. What is the uh, PID of the dirty bomb over? Uh, we have a red crate with blue canvas top right in the middle of the gas station. Confirming red crate with blue canvas top. Uh, I will relay to Bravo and Charlie break. Once Bravo and Charlie touch down, you're free to board either of the Blackhawks and uh, RTB for debrief. Over. Solid copy, hi. We are out of here via Blackhawk extraction. Uh, hi. A firm, he's waving off for the moment. Two MI 24s reported coming in. Break. Take the second one, it'll land momentarily. Because it's cooler that way. <laughs> oh, 
No, that little loop de loop it did. Alpha, this is high. Be advised, Blackhawks are dusting off in 30 seconds. They don't want to be here when another pair of MI-24s happen. Over. Bravo's all in. Bravo's all in. We're waiting on the red lack of Alpha. We got a couple guys who are wounded and trying to catch up. Hey, I don't make the rules. If this lets off, I'm, I, I got no say in it. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. He's literally like, he's like 20 feet away and he's literally, he's been taking 10 seconds. Hurry up. Hi, lift, lift off, off lift off, lift off. Lead, if you got anyone left there, tell them they're forming up with Bravo and Charlie for detox duty and won't be going to the showers. Over. There's complete standby for index. Shridemic, thanks for the three month resub. Spread across the year, but still counts. <laughs> it's all good, man. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you get a kick out of this one. I got a kick. I hope you're staying safe. Lever. I'm just a I'll, teenage dirtbag, baby. I will get. I will. I'll say it straight up in front. I have no idea what the other community like bashed you for this op about. This op was fucking sick. This yeah, is yeah. no. They just. They just nitpicked me over the little things. It's fine. No, they. They uh, like the op too. Um. You're the T55 of an IGN. Yes. Something hit me and I just went oof. So I don't know what you did, but nice. This is awesome. So, um, what my one nitpick on you guys is, um, half of you hid behind a wreck where I could see your feet, and the first two guys that went there, I mowed you down, and then I just kind of let you live, because that's what no, I would do to the 506 if they did that, because, again, even Steven. But, you know, the proper thing to do was flank the tank, hit me in the back, which you, uh, the other group eventually did, but I, um, I made that specific I position... To stop you guys from bulldozing the entire thing, because it might happen. Um, sure. But that one was meant to put you at a block and actually make you think. So overall, hope you had fun. I had fun uh, using the Apache to use a rocket to kill an MI-24 at the end. That was based. And that you was... nearly crushed us. <laughs> that was fucking great. Yeah, that that MI-24 land uh, crashing into the ground is what actually wounded one of our guys. Yep, trying yep, to and stop you from RTB. I know, I know. Um, and, and also that the, the, that same fucking Mi twenty four dodged one of my Igla missiles, and then when it got swacked by the Apache, I'm like, oh, they're yelling, it's coming towards me. I'm <laughs> locking onto the other one. Uh, if it kills me, it kills me, <laughs> and it missed me by inches, I think. I love how I put two fifty five, uh, no, two T seventy twos against you. Admittedly, I didn't do that to the five hundred six because they called in the air support immediately, but I was trying to push you guys to the air support so you'd use the Apache to kill them. Instead, you guys decided to perform some 300 uh, range AT shots against me. So that was pretty based. Some of them hit. Hey, some, some of them did hit. You decrewed, well, 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 you, you decrewed you one and you killed the entire crew of the second. I'm like, so, what the fuck? Like, uh, they were calling out saying, like, ah, this is take out the AT, uh, take down the fucking tank. I'm just like, I have the world's worst shot at <laughs> AT. <It's more laughs> like, 762, I can shoot pretty far. But uh, give me a fucking rocket, and I can't hit the broad side of a barn with that shit. <laughs> yeah, both, both Barbarian and I were like, hey, we need we need that Apache, like, now to take care of the D these T-72s. And so mm -hmm. while we were waiting, we just started dunking it with rockets, just trying to get it to stay away. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I, 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 I must got say, one, Skelly got the other. Go ahead, Barbarian and fucking Alcast, like, we did the Apache down, and Drew's like, <laughs> They had fun. That's all that whoosh. matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I, I must say, I don't know why everybody was panicking about just two tanks. It's yeah, just Alright, just, just the real things that- Oh, stop it. Freaking tier 3 bias. Anyway, um, real quick, let's actually have the debrief. So, uh, as I'm just gonna go down the list. as anything to say? 
Um, nothing on stream. It's sort of something after the fact. But comms were fucking clean. We worked fucking great. Um, maybe just a little bit of kit consolidation, standardization, because we did run into ammunition at some point. But that's just an oversight, really. Um, but overall, this is a really fucking solid op. Uh, you guys demonstrate your skill here. Tempestal. Literal. You went into an open uh, road and got dabbed on by a ZU. That was funny. Uh, you got him up. was behind those little <laughs> tracks. Everything was fine. No, everything would be fine if I continued going down the road to the next uh, little track. The error was when I decided to swap over because I heard on the radio someone saying, like, oh, we need to swap uh, swap line, uh, swap uh, sides. Yeah, okay, makes sense. <laughs> and I was like, I turn around, like, yeah, I see people going across on my right, and I go across, and the next thing I just hear is a... Deleting tempestal noises. I, think that I, I, I knew that, I, I thought, you know that split second when you're about to go unconscious from taking a hit, you can see where you're going? Mm -hmm. When I got hit in the face by that T-55 round, I saw my body fly backwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, you're flew, welcome. it flew over my head, Ezra. I yeah, literally was... All over, all, all. Over, we literally, we literally like, where the fuck did your body go? Where did I find you? But after yeah. I got off, I checked with Havoc. Um, I went backwards about 50 meters from getting hit in the face with a tank. <laughs> well, thank God the medics had a spare head to screw on your shoulders. Andruza, go. Uh, so my <clears throat> only complaint is that you're giving us guns with rail with top carry. Shut carry the mother! <laughs> nope. All right, no more debrief. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. No more debrief. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. We'll be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. for some French resistance shit. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Stay safe from COVID. <laughs>